The NSA is not engaging in domestic surveillance or snooping around. We learned that the government has the capacity to track virtually every American phone call and to scoop up impossibly vast quantities of data across the Internet. We have um, established a process and a procedure uh, that the American people should feel comfortable about. In a 68-page ruling, federal judge Richard Leon described the government surveillance program as almost Orwellian. This does not apply to U.S. citizens, and it does not apply to people living in the United States. Tonight, a group of advisors handpicked by the president has told him to stop monitoring phone records across this country and to rein in measures used by the spy agency, the NSA. All digital communications are... are um, there, there's a way to, to look at digital communications in the past. Um, and I can't go into detail of how that's done or what's done, but I can tell you that no digital communication is secure. But I also recognize that as technologies change and people can start running algorithms and programs that uh, map out uh, all the information that we're downloading on a daily basis into our telephones and our computers, uh, that we may have to refine this further to give people more confidence. And I'm going to be working very hard on doing that. The Obama administration is now asking the highest court in the land to change those rules and allow police to search your cell phone without a warrant. If the Supreme Court allows it, it would be a major victory for law enforcement. As to your privacy, well, that could be another matter. A child born today will grow up with no conception of privacy at all. They'll never know what it means to have a private moment to themselves, an unrecorded, unanalyzed thought. And that's a problem because privacy matters. Privacy is what allows us to determine who we are and who we want to be. It's fundamental to our constitutional order that the government doesn't get to just spy on you, that they need at least independent approval. They need to go to a nonpartisan independent judge and get permission, right? I mean, it's, it's common sense and it's the foundation of our constitution. The government is constrained by having someone else check off to make sure they're not abusing their power. I cannot stand this anymore! Yeah. As a mother, as a daughter, I cannot try to explain this situation to my children. I do not want them growing up without safety and freedom and the rule of law. I do not want to have to explain to them why a hundred men have never been charged with a crime and are are incarcerated in Guantanamo in their names. I don't want that to be my country. I don't want that to be our legacy. I want my country back. I want it back. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. So we pledge civil disobedience to the flag of the hypocritical tyrants that expect us to assimilate. And to this republic, which barely stands, is one nation under many gods are individuals stripped of their liberties and in need of justice for all. End mass surveillance and remind the government that if it really wants to know how we feel, asking is always cheaper than spying. So please, please call your members of Congress. Let them know how you feel about these issues. Let them know how you feel about the Patriot Act and let them know you support the USA Freedom Act. Only by taking action and letting our voices be heard will we reclaim our rights to privacy and freedom. Please contact your representatives immediately and tell them to support the USA Freedom Act. The, the greatest fear that I have regarding um, the outcome uh, for America of these disclosures is that nothing will change. They won't be willing to take the risks necessarily to stand up and fight to change things.